Hey, is this thing on? Hello? Hi. How's it going? Welcome to a little bit of a weirder video than usual. It's me, Cranberry, of course. Hi, how's it going? Welcome to, uh, just kind of a little bit of a, I don't want to call it a teaser, but I wanted, I, I talked about it in a 20 minutes till dawn video recently about how I'm planning on doing this thing on, on stream called a Kaizo Ironmon run. And the premise of it is basically a pretty difficult Pokemon challenge is the idea. I could explore. I'll give you the gist of the rules. There's a lot of rules to it, and I'm almost certainly going to forget some of them if I try to tell you all of them. So I'll give you the general gist of the idea. Basically, the way this works, uh, the game is randomized. Every Pokemon uh, is <laughs> a different Pokemon than it's supposed to be normally. All of your opponent's Pokemon and also all wild Pokemon are at a 50% higher level. All of their stats are randomized. Their move pools are randomized. Their evolutionary lines are, are somewhat randomized. I think my understanding is that they have to be the same type of Pokemon still. So like for example, like a Bulbasaur can it doesn't evolve into an Ivysaur, but it evolves into like, I don't know, a Grovile instead. And then Grovile would then evolve into like Meganium or something, right? It's kind of how it works. I just pick starters because they're easy for me to remember. It's not necessarily that they always pick the, the a starter Pokemon when they evolve, right? But uh, everything's crazy. I, I, I barely understand it. There's a lot of things. I, I just learned about the evolutionary Pokemon being out of out of sync as well. There's a whole lot of chaos going on in the run. Hence the name Kaizo Ironmon. Also, importantly, you're only allowed to use one Pokemon. And if that Pokemon dies, you lose and have to restart, <laughs> right? It's pretty crazy. It's also a lot of fun, though. Most runs die early in the run, like very early. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. I can, I'll can i post a, a link to the rules if you're curious about it. Uh, but I just wanted to, you know, let you know if you wanted to come check out some of the streams I'm going to be doing lately. This is what we'll be doing, right? Uh, technically, uh, you know, I'll have a face cam. Like, hey, I'll be there, but with a face cam instead. And also, you know, you'll be able to, you know, see the chat displayed on on screen here. Like if I just real quick, that should hopefully appear, right? Probably, definitely. Yeah, right. So, yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's neat. Hopefully, oh, you know what? I think I I think I changed order. I think I had this over here before. Anyway, who cares? Whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, I've done 20 attempts at this so far, and people have gone thousands of attempts in without winning. So, you know, we'll see We'll see what happens here. I don't have high hopes here, but I just wanted to do a couple runs just to kind of show it off. Um, I expect us to be losing all of them real quick. Oh, I think I did something wrong here with the setup. Hold on a second. Yeah, this is wrong. Actually, give me one second. Hold on. Sorry. Time. I'm gonna pause. The, I'm gonna pause the recording here because this is not working correctly. Actually, I know it, it's hard to tell, but something is off. So, okay. Sorry about that. I fixed it. Yeah. I, I so funny thing. Open up the randomizer. Didn't put in any of <laughs> any of the settings. Just hit the randomize button, so it didn't randomize anything. So, uh, yeah. Okay, it's good now. It's correct. It should actually, <laughs> for real. I promise this time. Should work correctly. And you can see the reason why I can tell the text goes a lot faster when you have the randomizer settings. It's part of the settings for it. So here, it's me, it's me, Cranberry, right? And our rival today will be. I think there's enough characters for it. The YouTube. Right? And we'll see how well it goes. Now there, there's a couple there's a couple of uh, I wonder who this also center screen here. There's a couple of rivalries I have already in the game. Um, maybe we'll maybe we'll see some of them. Ooh, a little nugget. And a, as as rules come up uh, relating to what we are or aren't, aren't allowed to do, I will mention them. There's a good chance we'll see some of them. One of the important rules is that. 
uh, you have to randomly select your starter Pokemon here, right? So as you can see, on this uh, right side menu, which is an add-on I have for the game here, there's a little dice button I can hit to randomly select. So we hit that, and we got right. So now we can look at all the Pokemon um, and you know see what they are, but we have to choose the right Pokeball as our starter Pokemon. There is an exception to that rule called the Favorites Clause. If I see uh, Blastoise, Dugtrio, or Slowbro, I am allowed to take one of those three Pokemon instead of the randomly uh, chosen Pokeball. Um, but for now, let's see what there is here first. We have a Clamp Pearl there. We have a Crawdaunt here. And on the right side, we have Tauros, which is our Pokemon we're going to play with, right? We'll take that. Starting move pool. It's okay. It's got barrage, which is an okay move. It's not amazing. And we'll go, we'll go. Oh, what, are we, what are we naming this guy? How about just like a little yeehaw? A little yeehaw, because we're a we're a bull. Now. If you're not familiar with the mechanics of, of Pokemon, every move has an attacking type based on the type of move it is, right? So, and you can see the icons here, right? As like an indicator, Barrage has a little star. Thunder Punch, Shockwave, and Crab Hammer have that little circle. The star means it's a physical move. So the damage is based off of our physical attacking stat, which you look at the top right there. You'll see our, you know, ATK, our attack stat is 14. Our special attacks operate off of the special attack stat, which is SPA, which is 13. So we have a, we have a pretty good mixed stat uh, total here, right? Our, our rival here has uh, has what's it called? He has a uh, he has the Crawdon here. And now we will leave the lab, and our rival YouTube here will challenge us to a battle. Now, like I said. Enemies are 50% stronger than normal. So, in a normal circumstance here, our rival's Pokemon would be level 5, but because of this, they have a level 8 Crawdon, putting us already at a disadvantage coming out of the lab here, right? And level 8 versus level 5 is a pretty big deal. Luckily for us, though, we have Thunder Punch, right? Which is a super effective move against Crawdon. Apparently, I've become confused from Crawdon's Teeter Dance, and I've hurt myself in confusion. Not a great start. Okay, Crawdon seems to only want to use the Teeter Dance move. Okay. <laughs> now Crawdon has used Sandstorm. We're still confused, and we've hurt ourselves in confusion. Very cool. Sand will damage both of us. Should do, yeah, one damage each. Okay, please stop. Please, Yeeha, please. There we go. Good. Okay. Yeeha gets up the Thunder Punch. I think that's also the maximum amount of rounds confusion can last. So as long as we survive this next move, we should be able to get a guaranteed Thunder Punch off here and, and win the fight. Okay. Snap out of confusion. Thunder Punch. If he's got like a little bit of health left, I think the sand will kill here. I think he's only got one HP remaining. There we go. See? Look at that. We get some experience, and we level up. Now, normally Tauros wouldn't have this stat spread. This is because of the randomizers as well, right? Like, normally Tauros is a fast and physical attacking Pokemon. Um, but, <laughs> because of the randomizer, all the stats have been switched around. Ooh, we've unlocked, we, we've learned the move Facade, which is a very good move. Um, yes, we will delete Shockwave. It's redundant coverage. Thunder Punch is just a better move. So there you go. Pretty simple stuff there. Facade, great move, by the way. Um. Now that we have a couple, we have a couple, I should have mentioned it before, but we have a couple of, uh, of we, have, we have a patch to the game. That lets us skip through this beginning zone pretty quickly. We do have to walk up here. Talk to you. Thank you for the potion. 
And if we make it through these next two patches of grass... Oh, sorry. Okay. This fucker... I hate this guy. Just blocking me. Ooh, we got we got a Vigoroth. Vigoroth is a pretty good Pokemon. It has lower... So the way you should evaluate Pokemon, right, is that Vigoroth has a base stat total, that number in the bottom right of the stat menu, right? As a base stat total of 440, which is lower than our... Uh, our Tauros is based at total, right? Our Tauros has a base at total of 490, but you I hate this guy. <laughs> okay, so we get up here. Instead of having to go to the, the, the shop, we just get the parcel right away. We come over here, teleport is down. We turn in the parcel and get five Pokeballs. And we go back on our merry way. Anyway, so Vigoroth has a lower base stat total than Tauros, but they're, they're both the same typing. The reason why this all matters, though, is that Vigoroth evolves. And not only that, because of the of the randomization in this game, uh, Vigoroth being a pure normal type can only evolve into other normal types. And the selection of Pokemon it can evolve into are all really good. Right? This is a little tiny meta thing here, but we are definitely going to attempt to capture this man. We'll do a Thunder Punch to weaken him a bit. I doubt this will, you know, kill. <laughs> okay. That was a little spooky. That was a little spooky there for sure. Um, Where are my Pokeballs? There we are. There we are. There, we are. there are the Pokeballs. This should be a pretty easy catch considering how low his health is. And now, here's an important rule of this, right? Like I said before, we're only allowed to have one Pokemon. When you decide to catch another Pokemon instead, you are forced to switch to that other Pokemon. So now we have pivoted to Vigoroth. Will I give a name to you? Yes, of course. Monkey. Right? So now, you have to take Tauros, put it in the PC, and now we, no matter what the move pool or what the stats are on this Vigoroth, we have to use it now instead. We have done what is called a pivot. Right? Tauros, into the box, Vigoroth. Pretty good stats, actually. Pretty good stats. Very slow, which is unfortunate, but he does have agility. Extra Sensory, Dragon Claw, and Icy Wind are all pretty solid moves. And his special attack is higher than his physical attack, right? Extra Sensory, Dragon Claw, and Icy Wind all use our special attacking stat, which is why that matters. Overall, this is pretty good. The move, the, the ability Sticky Hold doesn't really do anything for us, so that's unfortunate. But other than that, we're in a pretty good spot here. Now, level six is a little bit on the lower side, but if we can if we can get lucky here and win our first Pokemon battle, we should level up pretty quickly, and then hopefully Snowball is the idea, right? Now I do want to get that that item behind that uh that bush here before we continue on. Ooh, we don't need a PP Max right now, but that is very good to have. That's uh that's pretty sick with it. Now, we could we could check the extra grass up here, but I, I I'm I'm just gonna go full commit to Vigoroth here, just for the just for the sake of us probably losing so we can play another run. But hey, maybe maybe it goes really well. Now, little secret item here, Poison Barb doesn't do anything for us here. It increases the damage of Poison type moves held by the the holder, or used by the holder, I guess. Magnet, same idea for Electric type moves. Um, which we don't have any of, but even if we did have any, legally we can't use them. Hello, Squirtle. How's it going? Lo love Squirtle. Big Squirtle fan. Oh, we're trapped. I've been Aurora beamed. Sir, please stop. Let me go. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to head back to the Poké Center to heal now. Luckily, got a little bit of a fast forward button here so we can go a little bit faster. A little too fast. Okay. Please, sir, sir, thank you, thank you. Oh, well, we can just go around this way. Okay, and we're back. <laughs> A little tedious, but that's just, you know, the nature of the challenge. We're once again stuck in here. Kankaskhan is definitely attempting Pokemon. 
Also level six. I think we can buy one as level eight though in this forest, if I remember correctly. Mental herb. I guess we'll have a monkey hold it. Like, I don't know. It just like stops the Pokemon from taunting you, I'm pretty sure, right? Remember correctly? Oh, infatuation, okay. I guess just attract? Interesting. Um We we could try to we could try to play the uh the Kangaskhan here, get a level eight one instead, but let's rock bigger off here. It's a little it's a it's a higher risk strategy, but higher reward if it pays off for us. Maybe we get lucky, maybe our opponent has really stinky Pokemon. We got Fanfy. Okay. Kind of a stinker. Kind of a stinky Pokemon. We have Icy Boom, which slows it down too, hopefully. My attack missed though, unfortunately, which is unfortunate, you know, it sucks. We've been shockwaved. <laughs> And we're dead. We've been crit, we die. Such is the nature of it. Now, I got something I need to do off screen for a second here to make a new seed. Right, we do that. Okay. And then I just hold on, open up the new ROM, put it back on full screen again. And we, and we do it all over. Oh, also, I forgot. Sorry. Hold on. Hold on. My bad. These, these do count. I'm keeping track of this as well. So that's a, this is attempt number 21 now that we're on. Right? So, put in our name. And I'm going a little bit slower here than, in, than general, just to, you know, explain all the rules and stuff. It'll be a little bit faster uh, on stream, obviously. Okay, this one, this one will do, uh, you know, with less exposition this time. The cool thing about this, too, is that, uh, also, let's just come up here. Premier Ball? Okay, whatever. Take that. The cool thing about this, too, is that we can, uh, there's a lot of cool ways for chat to interact here, right? We can, A, we can, we can, you know, let the chat vote on which Pokeball to choose, right? Also, you know, we, we can do a lot of uh, predictions, which you know, if you're not familiar with predictions, I guess I shouldn't assume everyone on YouTube knows what, what Twitch predictions are. It's basically as you watch a streamer, you accrue points for that specific streamer, and then you can gamble those points on outcomes of the stream, basically, right? That's the idea. So that you, you can gamble on, like, for example, you could gamble right now on if we beat our rival, right? We'll roll. We hit middle. We'll check the Pokemon. Magikarp dodged a bullet there, probably. Quagsire. Not a bad Pokemon, but a little bit of a low BST. And we get... Okay, so. Interesting. Interesting thing here, right? A legendary Pokemon or any Pokemon that has a, a BST higher than 600 or equal to... Higher than or equal to 600 are not allowed... <laughs> Latios is one of those Pokemon, so we are not allowed to take Latios here. I believe, technically, we just take whichever one we want now. I need, you know what, I need to consult the rules, actually. I forget how this works. Um, so let's see. Random starter. Randomly let's select a starter as a banned Pokemon. You must instead select another starter. So we just select. So between these two, we're going to go Quagsire then, for sure. That's pretty cool. I actually, you know, in all my attempts so far, I haven't had it land on a legendary Pokemon yet, so that's pretty fun. So we'll go we'll go Quagsire. It's just the better of the two Pokemon. It only has one weakness to grass. It has an okay base stat total, not amazing. I'll give a nickname to this guy, sure. A little dope. Oh nope. Is that how you spell dopey? Uh, it's not, I think it's D-O-P-Y, right? Hold on. Google? How do you spell Dopey? It's, it's D-O-P-E-Y. Duh. This, is, this guy is Dopey for sure. Anyway. So, our, our rival, by the way, now has the Latias, which is going to be really sick. How are we doing stat-wise here? Decent special attack? But not very good physical attack. Now, the thing that's important about uh, Latios here 
is that uh, it's a dragon type move, so it resists our zap cannon, and our physical moves are trash against him. So, I think we're very doomed here. I'm gonna attempt to use Cosmic Power, which is a move that it raises both of our defensive stats. And uh, okay, no, we're dead. He's got a Grass type move, so we're we're absolutely toasted here. We have no shot at winning this. Uh, we'll play it out because maybe the AI shits the bed here. Who knows? But we are absolutely doomed. A little ancient power. Yeah, okay, we're dead. <laughs> we're not dead. We're alive. Yo, and we got the ancient power all stat raise. Yo, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay, here it comes. Ready? Hit him with the zap cannon. Oh, we're dead still. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Yeah, that, that that's rip us right there. Um, so we will go into here, properties, step number 22, down, I need to make a new seed, there we go, now there's like definitely faster ways of doing this, that's something I haven't figured out yet, is how to reset the run faster. I've seen people literally just hit a button and the whole thing resets. I don't know how they do that. And it's not super easy to find. But, you know, it's not taking us too long here. Let's get let's get one more attempt in. Let's get one more good attempt in here. Okay. This one's going to be... YouTube still. Okay. We'll just, you know, check the computer for an item. An Ultra Ball. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool that we got an Ultra Ball. I don't think there's any rules that say we can't use it. Oh, you know, let's hit the randomizer. Randomizer selected middle. Okay. So, okay, you can't show that. Illegal. Kadabra. Weird choice, but okay. And here? Okay, we're rocking Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn is our guy on this challenge. Uh, Rhyhorn, terrible Pokemon. Absolutely trash. We're going to call you Trash, Trash Man for sure here. Maybe Trash Dog, because it's more of a dog than a man. This is Trash Dog the Rhyhorn. If we ever can get Rhyhorn to a high enough level where it evolves, it's pretty cool. But the problem with Rock Ground, ty rock ground Typing is that it has two different quad weaknesses, both to grass and to water. We do have a decent move pool here, though. Which is interesting. Anyway. I will... Take our item off of Trash Dog here. What Pokemon did was there? Oh, that was Cloyster, wasn't it? Okay. Well, Cloyster, much better base stat total than us and a higher level. Cloyster needs to have a terrible move pool for us to win this fight. Uh, Mega Punch has the higher base power of the two, but it's lower accuracy. Oh no. Evasion spam. <laughs> okay, we hit the Mega Punch though. That's good news. That was not much damage. Okay. I don't like our odds here. So getting our hit switch is nice. I don't know why you've skill swapped with me. Well, can I see? Can I look at, can I look at you right now? Okay, don't get, get me out of here. I don't care about this. Can I see what my skill is right now? No, Blaze was my ability the whole time, so I don't get to, I don't get to know what he skill swapped onto me. I have no idea. Okay, well, I get Blaze back, I suppose. Interesting. Also, just I'm not missing any headbutts, which is really cool. I guess this closer just has no attacking moves, which is just how it goes sometimes. That's great for us. Easy dub. Trash dog, kicking ass and taking names here.
the nice thing about fighting against a strong opponent in the uh, lab is you get a lot of experience for it. So Trash Dog is, is now level 9, which is really cool. We're gonna we're gonna stick with Trash Dog unless we see a really amazing Pokemon to pivot to. Because starting at level 9, pretty cool. That is not terrible. We have a pretty we have a pretty good stat spread too. Low special attack, which is fine if we're gonna be a physical attacker, and balanced defensive stats are all pretty nice. Hello, Sentret. Kind of weird, a Pokemon you would actually kind of expect to see in this zone, potentially. Okay. Get the parcel. Cool th the cool thing about this add-on, by the way, if you didn't realize it, it does a lot of really cool stuff for us. It, it keeps track of our opponent's moves. Um... It keeps track of how, if we've seen or, or how many of the Pokemon we've seen in each route. It is really interesting, right? Um, oh, one thing I, I just realized I didn't mention too. You might be you might be watching this and being like, "Hey, why don't you just kill wild Pokemon to grind experience?" You are not allowed to. A lot of a lot of things here. If you're watching this and you're like, "Hey, why don't you do X, Y, or Z?" The odds are the reason is because it is not allowed. <laughs> so something to keep in mind there. I might, I may just forget to mention it, but that is a thing oftentimes in this in this game. You're just something's just not allowed to do. Anyway, we will come here, buy some Pokeballs, just to have a couple more, I guess. Another thing you might be asking: Hey, why don't you? Uh, we should we should we should. We should look around to keep scouting more, but I, I, again, this is gonna be the last part. We're probably gonna die, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna commit to the Rhyhorn here. We'll see what happens. Um, we might be watching this. You might be going, "Hey, um, why are you buying items from that shop? Right to heal yourself. That makes a lot of sense. You're allowed to use healing items in battles, but you are not allowed to buy them uh, in shops. That is illegal." You have to find them. If it wasn't obvious, also all items are randomized too. <laughs> we just found a fucking Master Ball. So that's great if we ever see a Pokemon we want, we want to pivot to, we can just guarantee catch it. Um, it doesn't do much for us. Max, either that's a good move. That's, that's a good item. That's a sick item to find because when you're in the Elite Four, you only have one Pokemon, you might run out of moves. It's good to have uh, uh, items that replenish your uses of your moves. So, Max Ether is a great pickup for us there. We'll go fight the Bug Catcher here. This Catcher only has two Pokemon, so as long as we win this fight here... As long as we beat the first Pokemon, we got good odds here. Okay, that's a Regirock, which is really bad news for us, because it resists our normal type moves. We can, we can hit with Thief, but our stats are so bad, and Thief is such a low base power, I think we're better off just trying to hit through this. The Reggie Rock, by, by the way, fast as fuck. Yeah, that's not great. Let, let's, let's try Thief. Let's see what happens with Thief. Oh, okay, he's got Eruption too. That's not great news for us. It's resisted, but it's got such a high base power because his HP is so high, it's probably not going to be... Oh, okay, not even that bad. Okay. We're fine. We're doing great here. Okay, Thief was a critical hit, but even that being a crit, it did do more damage than the Headbutt did. Okay. Okay, Eruption's going to be worse. Now, if you don't know the move Eruption, its base power is based around how much HP the active user has. So the more we hurt it, the less damage Eruption's going to do to us. If this, is, if this is Regirock's only attacking move, we're actually in a really nice spot here. Because he seems to only care about moving very quickly <laughs> and erupting all over us. So that that's okay. Got disabled, that's important to note. Another critical hit from us. We're sick with it. And you know, I think he's gonna go for a disable again. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna opt. Look at that. Look at that. Juked him. So he disabled our thief, so we switched to a different move instead. Hit him with the headbutt. You can't have multiple moves disabled, so we can now you know do this no problem. We've been bound. 
But Reggie Rock is dead now, so that should release our binding, I think. I would imagine. The trash trash dog is kind of sick with it here. Trash dog is trying to learn hail. Uh, let's see. Hail is a terrible move for us, but mean look is worthless. So it's a bad move versus a worthless move. I'll take the bad move. Maybe we pick up Blizzard at some point, right? You never know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. So that's another Rock-type Pokemon. So we will once again begin thiefing. Let's see how this goes. And he's got a Vine Whip, so we are unbelievably dead here. <laughs> We'll Mega Punch for fun. We have been intimidated, so our attack stat has been lowered. Oh, it still does more damage, but we lose the fight. That's it. It's over. So I, before I forget to mark it down in the books here, we are on attempt number 23 when I resume this next time. Anyway, that'll, that'll do it for this video, though. I just wanted to give people an example of what this is going to look like if they were, if they were considering maybe coming over from the YouTube to check out the streams. I may do some streams on YouTube as well. I let me let me close this real quick. Get me out of here. So uh, I have done YouTube live streams before. My main issue with YouTube live streams is that uh, there's a lot of bots. There's a big bot issue with YouTube live streams. So I didn't love that, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe at some point, I, I, I want to, you know, every now and then I want to do another YouTube live stream to see if the bot issue is still there. It was really bad when I had bots show up. They, like, they were constantly spamming. They would keep coming back after getting banned with, like, slightly different usernames. It was not good. It was not good. So, Twitch has been a better experience for me live streaming, but, you know, maybe every once in a while I can do some live streams over on YouTube, too. Who knows? Anyway, um, that'll do it. We're done. Hello, mom. How's it going? Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna close it down there. Thanks for watching. Yada yada. Have a good one, and goodbye.